Good morning. Today's poem is by Theodore Ruthke. It's called In a Dark Time. And it, yes, may be a little more intense than some of the poems I've been sharing in the last few days. But this one, I feel, takes the sense of anxiety or disconnect we might be feeling, and it places us on a pathway through ourselves until we can come to a more settled place, which is what I hope for you and for me in these dark times, perhaps dark times. <clears throat> in a Dark Time by Theodore Rathke. In a dark time, the eye begins to see. I meet my shadow in the deepening shade. I hear my echo in the echoing wood, a lord of nature weeping to a tree. I live between the heron and the wren, beasts of the hill and serpents of the den. What's madness but nobility of soul at odds with circumstance? Are the days on fire? I know the purity of desire, my shadow pinned against a sweating wall, that place among the rocks. Is it a cave or a winding path? The edge is what I have. A steady storm of correspondences, a night flowing with birds, a ragged moon, and in broad day the midnight come again. A man goes far to find out what he is, death of the self in a long and tearless night, all natural shapes blazing unnatural light. Dark, dark my light, and darker my desire. My soul, like some heat-maddened summer fly, keeps buzzing at the sill, which I is I. A fallen man, I climb out of my fear. The mind enters itself, and God, the mind, and one is one, free in the tearing wind. Just a little note, I'm sitting watching in, looking out toward my balcony, and while I was reading, a little wren came and sat upon the balcony railing as though it had been invoked by the wren in the poem. Take care of each other. <laughs>